Hey guys, welcome to another Unity 5 tutorial, and this is going to be what a few people have been asking, and this is going to be about using image effects. And image effects were not previously available in versions of Unity 3, but seeing as though Unity 5 has most of the features now, um, you have you know full access to the full range. So what you want to do to actually import your image effects is if you right click on the project panel, unless you've imported them already when you started your project, is um, you can go to import package and import effects and then the effects will end up being with inside your standard assets and it will come with all the different sort of assets that are sort of together in terms of the things that are provided with pro so image effects are one of these and they're just a bunch of scripts that do things within the camera and such so say you've got a first burst controller that you brought in as a, from the prefabbed um, first person controllers you've got your first person controller now it says first person character and this is your camera so this is what we want to add any one of our image effects to now you can do this on this side on the right hand side you can add component go to image effects and choose one here but um, so you can see the menu more clearly I usually like to go to component image effects and then we'll choose an image effect that we want to use now there's a few main image effects that I've used previously and ones that I think feel that are good and I'll go through them very quickly and very briefly just to show but I'll tell you now Bloom is something that almost brings colours out and makes them more bright so if there's a, a sun or a bright light it will almost make it glow around the edge or bring a sort of glow uh, the blur so a normal motion blur it's just when you move you're going to have a solid blur in front of your camera um, the camera motion blur is just going to be a motion blur around the edges of your camera not directly into the center um, depth of field is something when you can set um, blur depending on the distance that it is away sometimes that you can have a blur close and you can see distance in fo um, objects in the distance in focus or vice versa you can also have um, Vignet and things like that which will add a black edging towards the edges of your camera. You can have colour adjustments which is just in the, um, either if it's black or white for grayscaling or you can use colour correction which are used in a lot of games and movies to change the overall look of a game. So say you've got a lot of varying colours, you can change the colour correction to make it look more of a sort of blend of one particular colour edge detection I think is just more if you want to add to certain um, effects to edges of particular game objects displacement these are things if I don't know, really know where they'd come in handy but a twirl of vortex makes sort of a vortex in the middle of your camera um, rendering sun shafts is another good one which will create god rays or light shafts from a light source um, past or through other objects that would realistically cast the particular shaft and screen space ambient occlusion is also a good one and it'll add the darkness between objects which you get in real life and then noise is just something that you might see from like slender man and things like that now they were just a quick overview I'll quickly show some of the ones so I'll add a bloom I'll add motion blur camera motion blur Seeing as though these being the main ones, the Vignet add a color correction, and I will add it from the rendering sun shafts and screen space ambient occlusion. So I will minimize all of these to show you them in turn, so we can go in our game now. And things might look a bit crazy at the moment. So if I turn all those off, and I make this a little bit bigger, you can see that the bloom is enabled and if I play the game you'll notice that the objects look slightly more with a glowy sort of effect if I turn the bloom effect up if I turn the intensity up you'll notice that everything gets quite ridiculous and it can be used just to make a nice effect if you wanted maybe like a sci-fi sort of area or scene the motion blur you can add that and it's one that just when you move the motion blur is across the entire 
camera and you can change the blur amount camera motion blur somewhat similar but not directly in your line of view it's just the edges that get a particular blur and can be changed with all these settings accordingly the vignette you might have seen that the edges got slightly darker if I increase the amount you could do like almost a blinking or somebody that has got a sort of tunnel vision effect like that color correction is another big one is that you can set depending on the curves that you set within your game you can get an overall more dynamic look and more sort of consistent color scheme where if I untick it it almost makes it previously it was looked a little bit washed out now it sort of makes it more uniform the sun shafts works in a way where you can add a shaft caster which is you can add your directional light to that property which there if I turn the intensity up just for this example and we look towards the sun here which is in our skybox you can see the very subtle um, light shaft now I've got nothing that will really show the light shafts but that's just a, a simple sort of setup towards it now the screen space and the occlusion like I said the darkness between your um, objects and you see now you can see that everything that is separate will actually have a bit of ambient occlusion in between you can obviously change all the settings based around that so you can change the occlusion intensity and things that affect the look of the entire game you can obviously do um, ambient occlusion with baking but these are just things that you can add to your, your your entire scene just to make it look maybe a little bit different overall I'll take that <clears throat> bloom and lens flare down and we can add all the things together to make some sort of crazy looking game but that was just a sort of brief overview of some of the more um, appropriate image effects. If people want me to go through the image effects more thoroughly, I will. But it's really a case of you just messing around with what works for your scene and what you feel is appropriate for what you want to do. So again, thanks very much for watching. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.